Here are some common mistakes to avoid when installing safety seats and securing children in them. Make sure the safety seat is tightly secured to the bus seat. A child safety seat should not move from side to side or forward more than one inch when the seat is grasped at the belt path. Make sure harness straps are in the correct slots. When the child is rear facing, harness straps should go through the slots at or below the child's shoulders. When forward facing, straps are routed through slots at or above the shoulders. Make sure to use the retainer clip correctly. The retainer clip, which properly positions the shoulder harness straps, should be at the child's armpit level. Make sure safety harness straps are tight enough. These straps should be snug enough so that only one finger can be placed between the strap and the child's body. Place one finger under a harness strap and try to pull it away from the child's torso. It should stay close to the child's body. Never use a recalled or unsafe child safety seat. Many child safety seats have been recalled by the manufacturer, but not all recalls require the seat to be returned or destroyed. Many just need a replacement part from the manufacturer. A copy of the current recall list is available at the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, website, www.nhtsa.dot.gov. Child safety seats have a date of manufacture on them. Do not use a child safety seat six years past this date. Never use a child safety seat that has been involved in a crash. Don't use non-standard objects to secure or modify a child safety seat. This includes bungee cords, tie-down straps, wire, clamps, duct tape, or anything else not called for in the seat's manual. Do not bolt, drill, screw, or otherwise modify or add anything to a child safety seat. A rolled towel or foam pool noodle can only be used under a rear-facing child safety seat to assist in the proper positioning of the seat at a 45-degree angle. Nothing should be placed behind or under a forward-facing child safety seat.